Welcome to Apex Esports League, I'm JT. Tonight we are playing Project Cars 2 for the PS4 and we have round 4 of the Apex Esports League Group A Touring Car Cup. Tonight's round we have Red Bull Ring, so it's going to be some very exciting action at the ring. To tonight's session, we've got two races. We're heading over into session one. We've got 15 minutes practice, weather is light cloud. 15 minutes of qualifying, weather is medium cloud. The sprint race is 12 laps, weather is light cloud with no mandatory pit. We'll have about a nine minute break and then heading to session two where we'll have 15 minutes of qualifying, weather is light cloud. Then we have the main race, which is 23 laps, weather is medium cloud through to clear with a mandatory pit. So we'll bring up the previous Results, so after round three, we have Rooney9915 leading the championship by 111 points, so doing very well. DeCorby sitting in second position with 571 points, and Mick Cliff not too far behind on 510. Last week, we saw Rooney9915 take a clean sweep, so in the sprint race... Wait, sorry, I just noticed I have... On a... We'll be jumping over into the session in a moment. But we have again, Rooney taking a clean sweep. So we took pole and victory in the first race as well as the fastest lap. Then we had in the main race qualified pole, took fastest lap and the victory as well. So we'll be going through over to pit lane in a moment. So in the team's championship, sorry, we have Hit Your Marks, which is Corby Frey at 7, Spray and Prey, who is leading in the team championship with 854 points with the Vazmac boys, Team 2, DK Russian Sami, not too far behind in with 766 points. And we're just having a bit of issue trying to get the lobby to start at the moment, so we may have to actually reload before we can head over into pit lane. I'll have to try and load this up. It's saying we have too many drivers. However, we do not. So bear with me as we try and get this loaded up. We'll be just seeing the lobby for a moment as I actually load it all up. Hopefully we will we'll be good to go now. If it is the case, we'll just have to re- Start up that lobby. It looks like we're definitely having some tech issues with the project cars. We're going to have to reload the lobby, so we'll just be going to our broadcast countdown screen. So hold on as we sell these tech issues. And
And we are back after the little hiccup with Project Cars 2. So we just had the lobbies having a huge issue. It actually locked us to only being able to have five cars. However, it let us load up a full grid of 16 cars. So over to Austria for the Red Bull Ring GP. Game session time is starting at 9am. Track length is 4.32 kilometres. There are 10 turns. There's a fair few technical corners coming through Sector 1 and onto Sector 3. And even the back end coming onto the final corner for pit straight is quite a tricky one. It can actually be a very fast line getting that final two corners. We've seen a lot of spins usually come out and actually hitting into the pit entrance wall in previous series that we've done on the track. So it's going to possibly be very much the same with these very talky uh, type cars that really like to slip out at the rear. And let us know if the audio and graphics are looking okay for the stream as well. We have actually upgraded and added in an Elgato capture card. So hopefully we're getting a good crisp HD amount of graphics coming through from the game now. And let me know if the audio is a little bit too quiet or a little bit too loud as well. I did try doing a few little audio tests last night preparation for it after installing it all into the new computer to do all this. Oh, great, thanks guys for letting me know. And, uh, oh, a little bit of a lag spike as we got someone joining in. That's good, so we got the full 16. The good thing is we should not get any stream interruptions like I've been experiencing lately with since moving address. The internet has not been as great here as my previous address. I was basically directly out the front of the node where now I have to share a fair bit of connection in a more dense residential area. I was on the outskirts who enjoyed being just about the only person out there getting to use the full length of fibre. And now with this new connection, that has completely removed a whole extra amount of bandwidth required so we can use that to give some very good stream quality. But don't forget to jump into the chat, say hello. Let us know who you think is going to take pole position. Who's going to take the win? We've had some pretty good predictions in the past. And we do have a new debut driver tonight. We have Marky Mark 1512. Joining the guys out in a BMW. And the driver who's been missing for the last couple of weeks is Simo Simsel. He's the teammate for Gallon 350 with COVID Racing. And we did have T Rex jumping into his car for the last two rounds a fill-in. So we now have T-Rex back into the car that he first started round one with. They're back in as a single for this championship. So it is our first team championship that they have been doing. And it's been pretty good seeing our team members. We even have Rooney coming in third in the team championship and it's just him on his own. Also leading the Drivers Championship. Well done to Rooney. There's been some fantastic driving by Rooney. First times are coming through. We've got a 151 on the board. That's by Gallon350. Piston broke and she's teamed up with Mr. D Train. They are both running the BMWs. We haven't had the BMWs getting results up towards the top end. It's 
has been quite heavy Ford dominated so far for this series. However, last week, Mercedes really getting in there and giving it to those Fords. And we see a little bit of a difference tonight. We may see those, those BMWs have a little bit of an advantage. We're noticing that the Ford Sierras have been pretty good with being able to slide it in the corners. However, I think it's probably going to be a little bit too much with these very technical corners at Red Bull. There's a lot of press, a little, a lot of off camber corners. It's going to be pretty hard to try and chain drift the cars down without getting into those right lines. We've seen a few go off wide here. I think the BMWs are probably going to be able to bite down. We have seen that the way they handle, they do dig in and stick in the corners where the Sierras do tend to really slide that tail out. I think Sturdy Monkey, it is pretty exciting to have Pagnian imports, Pagnian advanced simulations. And Next Level Racing taking us on to be able to help our community and offer some great prizes. Very quick times coming through. Hit your marks, Corby387. Coming through the first. Quick time. Oh no, he's just been beaten. Mick Cliff coming in with 137. Corby's teammate Spray also up there in with a 139. That's another 137 coming in. Very heavy on the Ford side up that top end. It's only a couple of seconds off that pace in the Mercedes. And I do need to give a big shout out to Sami who was actually helping out with sending out a few emails to people. Sent a lovely email to Pagnan. And then they responded and were happy to discuss with us and make an offer to have that GT, sorry, the wheel stand light from Next Level Racing. That's a great prize. We will be having that prize up for grabs for our RS01 trophy. So the Audis will be the series that, that can be won. You are keen to get involved in our racing and win a great prize that is the series to get into. Our last series sponsor we have was Logitech G Australia. And then they offered a wireless gaming mouse for them. That was for the PC drivers on iRacing. And our project cars to console players missing out on that prize so very glad to be able to get that on and look forward to our relationship with next level racing as we go forward make our way for down through the rest of the group we've got d train with team piston broke doggy daddy in the bmw is with the dodgy boys Teammate is Coco Dog. They're both running the BMWs. If you are new to our streams, don't forget to hit that follow button so you get notified when we go live. Real Pass Project Cars 2 on Thursday night, 7:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. It's not always that we start off with a very bad amount of tech issues. I was hoping tonight would be the first time that we would have a very good run after a couple of weeks of bad luck. And that happens in the world of technology and internet. Yeah, debut Marky Mark. Moving along very quickly on the pit straight. that time, not sure if he's brought that back in. We're currently parked up, he hasn't been out on track for the practice. We'll 
Yes, are we missing? We have Sami. That's my boys, team two. His teammate is DK Rush. I've got some. Pre it's pretty good to see our team mates actually have very similar pace. We have quickest time out there, 137.2, and that is a single team driver with Rooney. Also, single team driver is Mick Cliff. Being the two quickest, then we have Corby with Hitcher Marks and Spray and Prey calling third and fourth. And teammates Sami and DK in fifth and sixth. We haven't seen Philly. He's back to back boys team one. And that's like a dog. Exchanging positions with Mick Cliff. Doggy Daddy is also just up ahead as well. And then we have another team position 11 and 12 with the Dodgy Boys. Oh, that's Mick that's just gone for a slide. And when you do join us for the stream, if you look down underneath the stream, there is a bunch of sound effects controls so you can applaud and cheer and do or whatever you would like to do as the course of events unfold during the race. Have some fun with that. Simo going flat out there. We'll see where Rooney is at the moment for a lap. See if we can jump on board. He's about halfway through. Hopefully he stays out on track for a little bit longer and we'll See if he can get us in for another very quick time. If you can see another 137. You can see that tail really slipping out. Car's taken a few beatings. screen to my screen. I'm not sure if it's showing on the stream or not. It can be a little bit vary between the director's view and the broadcaster. So now to turn one, can it take a fairly wide line? We've had a fair few corners like that in this series so far with drivers using the full lengths of the track limits as possible. It's coming very quick up against this Mercedes that's either DK or Sami. Very technical corner here. You can see a lot of passes be attempted on that bend. And Philly or Wira, that was just off to the side. This is where we've seen a few spin off. That is one of the trickiest corners of Red Bull. It is hated by a lot of drivers. Very long corner, followed by another big long sweeping bend. like a huge hairpin almost. Those curbs, very slippery, they're actually quite an incline. Doesn't throw the car too much, but it is very slippery. And he's just dropped the tyre off as well. You can see him getting right, this is what I was mentioning, the final corners. You can take them fairly quick if you get the right line. And that car drops and there's a fair bit of elevation dip coming down into that final corner. It'll be very tricky. And that was a 136.8 by Rooney. He's got to be happy with that. That is a fantastic time. So he's going to be bringing that car into the pits, I think. he would be very satisfied seeing that. Yeah, Jeffries is seeing a Sierra whitewash at the moment. Nick 
doing very well, only half a second off of that time. Mick doing it for the guys on the controllers. He's been doing a fantastic job getting some podiums as well. Mick is coming third in the championship. He's got 510 points. He's only got 61 points away from Corby. And there is practice complete. Driver's now on the last laps. Mick across the line. Does he improve that time? Does not improve it? It must have been a pretty good time still. About two seconds, two and a half seconds off his quickest lap. Considering that, that is a 1.39. Mick coming across with 1.39. The quickest time so far for the Mercedes is Sami with a 1.39.339. Mick's time at 1.39.779. However, last week we did see the Diera is dominating in the practice and also doing well in the qualifying. However, it was a very different circumstance once it come down to the race. We could see that happen again. And we've got Mikey Mark is heading into the pits. He's done very well. He's come through with 147.3 in the end. A little bit of lag going on for Simo. See him going all every which way around. However, he's not actually doing that. This will probably include nice. We can have Coco Dog manage to cross the line in 10 seconds. I think he can. He's a fair way off. Pretty sure mix now on AI Drive. Then we have. Results for the practice session. We have Rooney 9915 with that blisteringly quick lap that we're on board with for a 136.820, a very quick lap. So it'll be exciting to see what they can bring into the qualifying. So if we head now into 15 minutes of qualifying. There are 25 points up for grabs for taking pole for the first qualifying. So we are familiar with Apex Esports League in our championship points for Project Cars 2. Oh no, D Train's just copped himself a grid place penalty. The how many that is. He's copped himself one grid place. He did just speed in the pits as he just exited the box. And now Project Cars Series do earn points for qualifying position. So very important in trying to get a very good qualifying position. Take a good look at the Rivalry 4 Marquis car. The blue Jashi BMW. Try and jump on board with one of the Mercedes as well. Jump on board for first lap around with Sami. He moves over to let Corby or Spray through. I'm pretty sure that's Corby's car. No, that was Spray's. A little lag which is on seeing from Spray. First lap, I think we must be coming up pretty close. We have 
at Sami as a quick as Mercedes in the practice session. A little bit slippery coming onto that final corner. He's going to get a nice run here, tucking in behind either Wira or Philly. Very heavy onto the brakes down to turn one. See the car not as slippery as when we're on board with Rooney. Turbo in those Cosworths on the Sierras make that town very loose. A little bit slippery still for Sami. Track temperatures are going to be reasonably cool. Game session time start at 10 a.m. Weather has increased in cloud cover. Still, we're going to be pretty cool out there for a couple of laps. It's going to take a little bit to get some temp into those tyres. This is probably where the Sierras will definitely dominate on this very long left hand turn. Even on sharper corners I think we'll see the Mercedes doing a lot better. And as you can see that line that he takes is actually going through the pit entry line. is the actual racing line, it's not an adjusted line. That time was 1.42. We did see him get a 1.39 in practice. We can see a few little slips, but it was still a pretty good lap for Cole Tyres. Corby comes straight in with a 136.5. Yet to get time on the board. We're currently the quickest Mercedes. I think Doggy Day quickest BMW at the moment. Now Zeruni slingshotting around Doggy Daddy. Back to that wall. Hello, McDoggy Man. Thanks for joining us. Oh, D train really pushing that BMW. A little bit slippery up on that exit curb. McCliff doing well with a 137.6. He's just bumped up into third. He's come through for 140. He's just a braking marker getting taken out. That was out on the exit line in the path of Mick Cliff. And Mr. D Train is copying that grid place penalty. He's going to have to get a pretty good qualifying result to compensate to be bumped down that one position. One of the Vazmac boys They're showing some damage, I'm not sure whose car that is. Here is just coming up behind his teammate Philly. There's a car parked up on the side of the track there as well, I'm not sure who that is. I think that may have been Gallon's car. Guys might have been on for a good lap. A fair bit of traffic going on. Philly's car is showing a fair bit of damage. Sometimes we do see that occur as the cars peel out of pit lane, just as the game starts to sync up, it tends to lag a little bit, and then it makes the game think the cars have actually made contact with pit wall. The 
you'll see just the visual damage thing on the car, however, it won't be affecting them, especially if they have brought the car back into the pits after taking damage. They will get a new car, however, most of the marks will still be there. We don't have full damage set for the series, it is performance impacting, with no mechanical failures. That means the drivers will be able to get the cars back to the pits after a catastrophic event. Won't mean they'll have to retire out, however it will be very difficult and a very lengthy pit stop. We do that in the hopes that we don't see too many having to rage quit out or just quit because of not being able to get the car back in the pits for losing wheels and the likes. That's full custom setups as well. Drivers have been able to tune their cars. We do throw in a default series every so often. The errors have made their way back up into the top. We have Corby, Rumi, Mick and Spray taking the fourth quickest times in the Sierras. Army leading the way for Mercedes. He's still a good second off of his practice time. If you're new to our streams, you'll see our social media links down at the bottom. There's our Facebook page, our bit.ly slash Apex ESL. That is for our YouTube. That is just a shortened link, as since we don't have enough subscribers over on that channel, we don't get a nice short link for YouTube. We have Philly and we're uh, tucking in behind each other. I think that is Alan or Simo. Must be Gallon. It's tailing in behind them, looking to get around. A lot of movement going on with Philly's car. I'm not sure if that's some lag skips going side to side or if it is very reactionary. I think it may be a bit of lag. And as I was mentioning, our Facebook page does have all of our results and standings get posted to it. Where you can stay up to date with all the point standings after the events and any incident reports after stewarding the replays afterwards you'll see what just has happened out on the track it's not always clear from what we see in the broadcasting and of course don't forget to hit that follow button we do appreciate the support that we're getting for Apex Esports League Rooney has come in with a 136.572. That's only 0 0.031 off of Corby's time. These two have been very similarly matched so far in this series. We're moves well out of the way for Corby. There's just under four minutes remaining of qualifying. And we'll be heading into the sprint race, which is 12 laps. There will be 60 points up for grabs for victory in the sprint race. Colby will be looking at trying to get those points and start to catch that gap between him and Rooney in the Drivers' Championship. Colby is doing very well for the Team Championship, however. Colby and Spray looking very good to score themselves an Apex Esports League champion stubby cooler. Spray showing some very good pace. A little bit wide. Spray moving out of the way for Rooney. 
drivers. We usually be pretty courteous to each other as they get around track. They'll be in the lobby chat. If someone's going for a cracker lap, they'll usually let everyone know. And they're usually more than happy to move out of the way and help them if they're not doing so well. Oh, a little lag going on, I think that's Simo. Yeah, that is Simo's car. This looks like he's made contact. Now he's flying in my screen. I'm not sure if anyone else is seeing that. That's some of the very strange things. I don't know if there's some contact that's just been made as well. This car is showing a lot of damage. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully he doesn't suffer a disconnect at this stage. Brought it into the pits and still it's showing some significant latency issues for him. The unfortunate is he didn't get to do it in the last two rounds, so it'll be good for him to be back out on track. We have D-Train currently with 11th position. Second quickest. BMW out there, Coco Dog leading the way for the Beamers. Come on board with the BMWs. It's been in with the Mercedes and the Ford so far. Oh no, Corby's just disconnected. And Simo as well. It's been a while since Corby's had a disconnect. Disconnecting at this stage. Will end up meaning he's missing out on the race. I don't think he'll be able to get back in in time. He has joined back in, hopefully he can get in in time. This will be enough time for Coco to get around for another lap. Now board for a full lap with Coco. Simo has joined back in. I don't know if it's going to be enough for them to be able to grid up. I'm not sure why Project Cars 2 doesn't allow them just to join at the back of the field. suffer a massive amount of disconnects. We usually do do a restart and then a formation lap. It's only if we lose a third of the grid. speed around those corners. Mercedes dividing alright. And that end of sector 2 being much quicker for the Fords, definitely. Could be some potential incidents coming into the race once we start needing to pit as well with that racing line being in the pit entry. A lap around in the BMW. Courtesy of Coco Dog. There you go. I'm not sure what's going on with Wira. Oh, I think he's just spun out down in towards the pit lane. And it can be quite tricky there. We've seen some potential disconnects, not disconnects, disqualifications. Yes, yeah, Simo, we did see that. We also had Corby as well. I'm not sure if he's been able to get back in for the qualifying. There we have taking pole position is Rooney9915 with a 135.664. We thought a 136 was quick in the practice. That is phenomenal times. 
It's very strong in sector two compared to the rest, almost a full second quicker. So that's where he's making up all that ground in those Sierras. Definitely doing well, as I mentioned, in second sector two. So also starting from that top end is Mick in second, followed by Spray, Sami, DK, Rush, Wera, Philly, Gallon, D-Train. Sorry, D-Train will move down into 10th position. So that means Coco Dog moves up into 9th. Then we have T-Rex, Marky Mark, Steph, Doggy Daddy, and it looks like we haven't been able to get Corby back in in time either. And Simo also suffering that disconnect. Hopefully no connection issues for them going into the second session. Yeah, Simo, we're seeing a fair bit of lag coming on with your car just before that all happened. It actually were flying for a good while, coming down into the final corners. There was some um, very strange things going on. Quite interesting, the camera angles that we get for the race. Put on the race leader and we get a very elevated camera angle that looks down towards the back of the grid. I wish we'd be able to get a good view for the start. just sitting back a few spots the other way there he's been getting some phenomenal starts at the lights they will be keeping an eye on him for the start the drivers have got a couple of minutes to hit ready after setting collecting all their settings for the car setups We have drivers all hit ready now. A little bit of a nudge forward by Sami. Trying to get a good jump here. Will he dominate? Get out ahead of these Sierras. Yes, a very good start. Sami ducks up in between Rooney and Mick Cliff. He's taken the lead straight up. That's very good. He's going to be in a very nice position. We're almost four wide coming down the turn one. It's going to be tricky. They're going to have to try and find track positions. There's cars going out wide everywhere. Rooney right off track. Oh, I think that is Spray. It's just gone a little bit slippery. He's just dropped back a little bit. Mick takes over the lead from Sami. Yeah, a little bit wide, that's all right. Oh, Sami's just slipped off. I don't know if he's gone off completely. He may have even made some wall contact. He just comes in front of Wirra. Here's Rooney darting up on the inside line alongside of DK. Position himself well along in the inside of Sami. Takes that position away. And Sami carries a lot more speed coming down to that next corner. Sierra is flying out in front now. We have a 1 2 for the Sierra's and a. 1, 2, 3 for the Mercedes and D-Train doing it for the BMWs up in 6th position. You can just see if we can get a BMW on a podium. Let's see if D-Train can keep that going. I think a nice tight line coming down to the final corners. Oh, Rooney comes out a much more wider line. Mick swaps back and is trying to break that slipstream. These Sierras really work well with the slipstream. They can get a fairly good slingshot. Ooh, someone's gone very wide at the back. I think that may have been Gallant. Getting a little bit loose. Just ahead of Philly and Spray. Leading the way on lap two. 
That last lap was a 148. Rooney gets around. Mick not carrying as much speed on that corner exit. Hey Corby. We had you and Simo both disconnect at the same time. Starting to close that gate with Sami. Sami's going to have to start looking for a defensive line. He's got his teammate sandwiching Weir up. That's McBoy's team one and two battling it out for position three. And go D train in the BMW up in sixth position. BMW is doing very well. You can see just how much more speed that that Ford Sierra has. Spray slingshots up and around D Train. D Train much quicker through that corner. Spray was carrying a lot of excess speed after that slingshot. The green Mercedes is still looking to close in and battle it out and take that third position. Closing in on T Rex. Going a little bit behind them, quickly closing in as well. T-Rex with this lap showing much more pace. Increasing the line and then crosses into that inside path. Say it is still struggling to gain any ground with each other. They are all very similarly paced. Each of their laps last time were in the 140s. That was 139s except for we're a 140 flat, so very similar pace still. Praise moved up still into 6th position. A little bit wide. Not sure if that will end up getting them to do a slowdown or not. Have Coco Dog something to close that gap in on Gallon. Just had Steph pass Doggy Danny. Steph moves up into 12th position. Our debut driver, Marky Mark. Drop back a little ways. I'm not sure if there was any incident in those first couple of laps. Third of the way through the sprint race, we're on lap 4 of 12. Cones just got taken out. And Rooney is flying ahead now. That last lap of 136.4. That's race pace. And that's Wills Heels out in the lead. He's running a good 40 litres of fuel. Perhaps the Sierra's... Enjoying a little bit of a heavier fuel load on that tail to put some drift down. Nick's still in a good position for another podium. Only four seconds behind Nick. Still unable to pull away too much from where up. Teammate DK is dropping back a little bit. He's a second slower than 
Guerra and two seconds slower than Sami. Could end up having him in trouble with Spray looking to get around. Spray's only 13 seconds away from the race leader. If he can shave off three seconds, that can see him taking a crack at a podium spot. So Ferguson is getting some very good consistent laps. He's definitely going to be battling out the top runners. Back a dog. Kind of closing a little bit on T-Rex. We did have Philly closing in behind T-Rex before. So he's managed to get around, so did Gallant. I'm sure if a mistake might have been made by T-Rex, costing him a couple of positions. We're a struggling to try and get that slipstream advantage to close that gap on Sami. Both their cars really topping out. Can't see as much of the slipstream advantage as we get from those Ford Sierras. They really start to spool up once that wind resistance starts dropping off. They have to revisit the group A's as a one make classification and see how they go. Billy closing in on D train in the BMW. D train slowly losing positions away. Couple of slowdown penalties that have been given as well. Gallant currently wearing one. He's got one second. Coco Dog's got two seconds. That'll be applied post race. With how tight these drivers are so far, only halfway through, that could potentially be a loss to a position. Sami both sitting fairly evenly paced apart. 0.4 of a second difference between the two. A little bit of a lag spike going on in the back there for Spray. Spray and Prey doing it for Hit Your Marks team after Corby suffering the disconnect. They are doing fairly well points wise for the team championship. Over for the Drivers' Championship, having a, his closest competitor now being disconnected in the sprint race. Now Rooney to get a fairly good lead coming out of the sprint race. However, the big points are up for grabs in the main race. Oh, big slide in the pit lane, and it could be a very tricky situation where drivers could slide off and actually head down into the pit lane. This is going to be beneficial for Mick. He's now able to get up along the inside. No, Rooney's been able to recover quickly enough to get back in front of Mick. Not sure if there's fuel or not. Rooney takes that very wide line as well. Seems to be an advantage. And it's pulled away from Mick. Been several drivers using that very much light, wider line. Several tracks in this series has all had that. Let's see. 
indications of some close battles potentially coming all over the grid at the moment. We're is really closing that gap in on Sami now. A good half second quicker that last lap around, and it looks like he's followed on with this lap. He misjudged that corner, he's dropped off a little bit. Now losing another second, so he has lost that ground that he covered. A little bit of slip for D Train. Not letting Philly pull away too quickly, he's still holding on. Got Gallon hunting him down in the Mercedes. Oh, Coco Dog just narrowly avoids T Rex, so he's gone for a slide. Got turned around just in front of him. Could have gone badly for both of them. Doug moves up into 10th position. Now quickly closing in on D train. Keep as much of a slipstream advantage for the Mercedes compared to the BMW. Able to get a little bit more speed on towards the back end of the straight. On lap 9 and 12 now. Marcus coming up, Rooney now coming on to lap Marky Mark. Marky moves out of the way. Well done, Mark. Rooney took that very wide line again. Oh, there's a big spin. That's Sami. He's just been turned around. Little spray also almost locks up into a slide. Looking to avoid Sami's stopped car. That could have gone badly, but that will do well for Spray. He now moves up into fifth position. He's having a cracker of a race. He's only got three seconds till he catches up to DK. Sorry, two seconds now. Ooh, a little bit slippery. He's lost a little bit of speed. Going to allow Sami to close that gap in just a little bit. Allen's still looking to get around that BMW. Oh, D-Train misjudges that corner, costing him a position to Gallon. But he's recovered pretty quickly. He's now got up a link inside and around. Gallon looked to go for an outside line, then darts back in to get on the racing line. D-Train right up over that curb. Loses out a lot of speed by taking that curb line. Oh, Gallon's just gone off track, but I think that's lag. Let's see, he hasn't slowed down at all. That skated him back on track. BMW doing very well. Gallon pestering the rear view mirror. Self known and trying to pick a line to get around. Starts to drop back just a little bit. Sami trying to close that gap in on Spray. DK also closing in on Wira. 
Gardner has had a much slower lap just around. I think he may have just misjudged that corner, losing a little bit of speed. Our race leader now leading it by 6.3 seconds. Gallon's just gotten along inside of D-Train, gets around, but D-Train's got a lot more speed coming in, holds that inside line. Oh, a little bit of a rub on the exit. Train owned that track position, got in very nicely. A little bit of a rub on that back quarter panel. Great battle between these two. BMW does not want to give that position up. Slip for D train. Almost side by side through those bends. That was very tight. Especially when both cars are showing a little bit of lag issues. Very defensive line for D train. We're on the final lap now as well. Gray's just lost that position to Sami. It's obviously been a mistake made. Now it drops back just a little bit on the straight. Rooney just quietly plugging away. He's about halfway through. Looking pretty good for a podium. No mistakes here, should be able to see that. Like Spray just had to correct. A little bit of oversteer in that corner. These two going at it again. Side by side along the back straight. Oh, D Train gets him along inside, rubbing through. That is very tight. That is elbow to elbow racing. BMW is putting up a fight against that Mercedes and there we have Rooney crosses the line Congratulations to Rooney taking in the win we'll Take our eyes off these two are giving us a ferocious last few laps battle Oh, D-Train a little bit out wide. That's just definitely cost him the opportunity to get back around Then we have Mick on P2 we are in position three, DK in fourth, Sami crosses the line in fifth, Spray in sixth, Bellini out crosses the line in seventh position. Gallon does have a time second penalty as well, he's got one second. Currently two seconds, no one. Will he lose a position to D train? No, he did just get ahead enough, so Gallon in eighth, D train in ninth, Coco in tenth. T-Rex coming up in 11th position. There's 55 seconds left for the race. Last lap to be done now. Bobby Danny bring up in 12th position. Well done to Doggy. Stefan approach to final straight now. Crosses the line in 13th. Well done, Steph. And then we have the result for race one of round four. We have Rennie 9915 taking victory. And I think it's probably the fastest lap points as well. Yes, 136.443. That's very quick. So also on the podium is Mick Cliff in position two. Well done, Mick. And then Weira in third. And then the rest of the good, we have DK, Sami, Spray, Philly, Gallon, D-Train, Coco Dog, T-Rex, Doggy Daddy, Steph, and Marky Mark. So well done to all drivers. It was some good racing. So we... Plenty more action to come in a moment. We'll be having about a nine minute break as the drivers refresh themselves before heading into session two. We've got another 15 minutes of qualifying and then we have the 
main race, which is 22 laps, so there's going to be plenty of action, and there'll be a mandatory pit requirement as well. So do stay tuned. We'll be back shortly, and then catch you for some great action around the ring.
and welcome back for session two of round four for the Red Bull Ring GP. That is the Apex Esports League Group A Touring Car Cup. We did just see Rooney9015 take victory in the Ford Sierra, getting some phenomenal speed and having a good lead on the race. Of course, if you didn't join us for the first section, we're in Austria for the Red Bull Ring GP. Track length is 4.32 kilometers. There are 10 turns. And it is very fast, very technical. And we've seen some great passes and some good battles going on, especially with D-Train and Gallon in those last few laps between the Mercedes and BMW. Over into pit lane. We'd have a couple of disconnects. We lost Kirby and Simo Simzel in session one, disconnecting in the last minute of qualifying. We did have Corby take a pole time. I think we saw a 135 get placed before being disconnected. Losing out on 25 points for taking pole position. That will be hurting him. Marshalling for the Drivers' Championship, not so much in the Team Championship. Got himself and Spray in the Team Hit Your Marks. You know, having all sorts of weird lag issues going on with the car clipping around. We did see the car fly for a little bit before the disconnect. We had Mick Cliff actually say that he actually could see the inside of his car from his cockpit view. So they actually were completely clipped over. It's almost double exposed. That's just what the lag can do. It's when the drivers are out there racing super close. There's some latency issues going on. And even when there isn't just any amount of latency, the closer you are, and then the higher that ping result is, that means they are very close or potentially already making contact. We do recommend our drivers turn the feature in the options for multiplayer names on when they come up behind a card will show the driver's name and it'll come up with how many milliseconds their latency is showing we can gauge them before making a pass we're a wifey there cheering on for we're up we're doing very well taking podium in the first race. We missed out on the first round. We did enter in in round two for the championship. We did suffer a disconnect as well. We're losing a lot of points. He's currently 13th in the championship. He's only seven points behind D-Train. Not far behind Spray and Simo. So after having a very strong result in the sprint race, if you can follow suit again in the main race, it's definitely going to bump him up a fair few positions considering he did suffer that disconnect and missed the first round. That is a phenomenal amount of points. And for the team championship, Philly and Wira, Vazmac Boys Team 1, currently 585 points. They're not too far behind... About 90 points behind COVID Racing, which is Simo and Gallon 350. T-Rex did fill in for a couple of rounds, while Simo flew over to Australia for a couple of weeks. Missing out on those two rounds, but he did jump in for the stream. Corby comes flying through for 137, almost flat. We're doing well for 139, straight off the mark. And that's about the quickest times we were seeing. Oh, I think that's Philly that's just gone off behind him. Making some wall contact. He'll bring that car in. 
He's got plenty of time to get that car back out on track. Get out and in for another lap. Oh, it's been another disconnect again. Simo has disconnected. Didn't get his connection issues short, sorted in time. Pretty sure if you get back in, at least in the three minutes remaining of the qualifying, you will make the grid. As I was mentioning, 1.39 was the times we're seeing set by the Mercedes. I don't think we'd potentially see much quicker than a 139 flat. This year is very well dominating this track at the moment. Very well be different though for the course of the longer race. There'll be much heavier fuel loads. Tire changes will come down to it. The Sierras will chop tires a lot more than the BMWs and Mercedes. DK doing pretty well with fourth quickest time out there, 140. McCliff also in the 140s. Wide coming on the last corner, it's going to cross him. Just had a Steph have her lap time invalidated, she's exceeded track limits. We got three wide coming down onto the finals. Great. I think that's Marky Mark, Steph, and Doggy Daddy. That's right, it's D Train. Danny, a little bit of oversteer. Marky Mark yet to get a time on the board. Rooney not yet getting a time up there. Because time is 137.081. First time lap for Rooney. See that tail spooling out a fair bit. And Sami's come through just marginally ahead of Wirra. Sami, Wirra and DK doing well for the Mercedes. And it was those three that we saw in race one that were very close and similar pace. And it was they were all struggling to try and close that gap in on each other. A little bit slippery coming down to the turn one for Wirra. He was carrying a lot of speed down in there. And as we're mentioning, for the cars that are going very wide out on that section of track, apparently the Mercedes and BMWs are being called up to slow down for exceeding the limits there, but the Ford Sierra is not actually getting stung for that. I'm not sure just why, we're, it's, whether it's something to do with the game and these cars being a lot more slippery. Corby's showing a bit of a lag. There's a few jumps there. Hopefully he doesn't suffer a disconnect again. Be very unfortunate. And Spray and Prey comes through for 139.4. Bray's having a fantastic night so far. Getting some amazing qualifying times. Had a great run in the race. If we, we can follow that through into race two. We're a little bit slippery. He snuck back in front of Sami's time. And they've both just been bumped down. Mick Cliff comes through for 138.2. If you are new to joining our streams, don't forget to hit that follow button. 
We will be back again next Thursday night for the final round of the Group A Touring Car Cup. And we have plenty of other racing action. We have the Spec Race of Ford Series for iRacing on Monday night. Oh, there's some lag going on. Someone's going to disconnect. Simo getting back in. Oh, Mix just clipped that wall. Rooney takes pole with a 135.9. Brings that car in. There's five minutes remaining. with 139.446. There's not much time difference between Wirra and Sami. 139.924 and a 9.41. Mercedes is DK. Better 140, almost flat. We have a fair few close times in the 141 bracket. We have Gallon 350, currently 8th. Oh no, he's just moved up into 5th. I think the quickest Merc out there now. Getting in a good point two ahead of Wera. Philly currently in the ninth quickest time. D train with 10th. Had no grid place penalties being imposed. Everyone's remembered that pit limiter button going down pit straight. Or pit lane, I should say, not pit straight. Coco Dog gets through with a very quick time in that BMW. He's just got in ahead of Billy's time. Set at 141.233. Next BMW is 41.5. Eric is going to be enjoying a nice slipstream here. Does that improve his time? As he's currently in 12th with a 144. Doggy Daddy just did bring that car back into the pit bay. He's got enough time to get out there for a couple more laps if he needs to. Death currently in. 14th. And this T Rex just in behind her. Not sure if any of contact was made there or if that may have been lag. Um, he's just exceeded track limits, so his lap's just been invalidated. And Simo's back out on track. There's still some lag going on for him. If he suffers a disconnect now, that'll be definitely him out for the race as well. Please, that can hold out. Yeah, yeah, I think he's going to drop out very soon. Seeing all sorts of weird things going on there. It's not flying like we saw in qualifying one. Corby whether he's holding off and then giving it the boot full. If that is a few lag spikes going on for him. Because at this point, in the first qualifying session that we saw Simo and Corby get disconnected at the same time essentially. I think I'm doing very well. 38. Rooney's time 135.9. Yeah, someone's just disconnected at Simo. He's not going to be able to get back in. And he's probably still have some tech issues going on into the race. Oh, I don't, I don't know if that spray going very wide there. That was a lot of speed coming down through turn one. Rooney's parked the car up.
Pretty sure a 135.9 is going to be pretty hard to beat. We have four Sierras up the front. Nick with the third quickest. Spray and Prey in with fourth. Gallon sitting in fifth. Only just a bit ahead of we're up. Get him out of focus on this shot. Oh, a little slip there. He's not going to do him well for this lap, but he's got enough time, I think, to get across the line. That'll allow him to get another lap in. Does he improve this one? No, he doesn't improve it, but he's going to have enough time to get another lap in. He's got his teammate, Philly, tucked in behind him as well. I think there'll be enough time for him to do. No, it's not going to be a lap for him. Few drivers still out. And Mick improves his time. He improves the time, but it doesn't give him a position. It's only 0.2 away from Corby's time. That was a very quick lap. Most joined in, but I don't think it's going to allow him the grid. He's just connected again. Lots of technical issues going on for him. I'm pretty sure T-Rex is probably finished. Alan, make himself familiar with pit entry. It will be crucial to getting a good result. And for this series, it's the first time we've actually turned on the option for pit stop errors. The drivers can be held up. The drivers mentioning they haven't actually noticed it yet. Oh, Gallon's just copped a grid place penalty on the approach into pit lane. That's unfortunate. That's good news for Wira. He's moved up a position already. Can he blitz this lap? He's got plenty of time to get across the line. He's on doing a burnout as well. Oh, he moves up into fifth. That was a very quick lap. As a 139.447. The time set by Spray is a 139.446. It's a very quick lap for the Mercedes. Well done, Wira. So he didn't even need that grid place penalty to advantage him on that final lap. So well done to Rooney, setting a very quick pole lap, 135.971. Then the rest of the grid we have Corby, Mick, Spray, Wira, DK. Gallon bumps down into 8th, so that means Asami moves up into 7th. Then we have Philly, Coco Dog, D-Train, T-Rex, Doggy, Steph, and Marky Mark. And unfortunately, Simo Sims have got disconnected a couple of times that session and right at the end again, so he'll be missing the gridding. And I need to just jump in the chat as well. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Simo, some real weird issues going on with your car. In the lead up to the disconnect as well. We're seeing he skate across well out off the track and back on. He almost thought we were going to lose Corby in that as well. As Corby was showing a few similar issues before getting disconnected last time. Driver's got a couple of minutes to get ready for the race. I'll need to make sure they set an active pit strategy. And usually activate that in the qualifying session. However, the game will usually tend to actually revert back to a default setting for the game. Which is why we've seen many drivers have to head back into the pits to get fuel or get those tyres changed. Can really mess things up. So it's always crucial to jump back in and 
like that a couple of times before hitting that ready button. Drivers don't hit the ready button, they will actually be DQ'd, sent to the pits. So we do need to make sure they hit it in time. We haven't had that for quite a while, so which is really good. Also revving up both these Sierras at the front. Ooh, a very delayed start for some. He's just seen Gallant get right up in behind. We're almost five wide going down. Pitch straight. There's a little bit of rubbing between Spray and DK, I think that is. No. I'm not sure that might have been Sami, I think. Oh, there's a car that's just been flipped at the back. I'm not sure who that is. I think that is T-Rex. There's carnage everywhere. Marky has been hit pretty hard. Same as Steph. Looks like Wira copped a bit of a hit as well. Not sure what went on. There was a car that was up in the air. I think that may have been Doggy's car. He's looking pretty beat up. Cliff has really dropped back as well. If this game had a safety car feature that would have been one for sure, it was chaos. Going to be an interesting one to see come to view the replays in the coming days. But don't forget if you aren't a member of our group, you can actually follow our page. Even if you're not on Facebook, you can actually just still bring it up in a web browser on your phone or computer and you can see all our results have made it all fully public so you don't need to have your account so that way you can at least see all our standings boards. D-Train into the pits here. He doesn't seem to have any damage. He's probably serving a drive through penalty most likely. He may have had a jump start. We have Corby. Leading by 1.7 seconds now. Philly gets around Mick Cliff. Mick doesn't have a very good run in off turn one. And that's DK looking to get up and around them. Mick Cliff positions himself along inside of Philly. Will be enough to be able to keep through. Alongside of Philly, they're going to be coming down to the next corner. He's going to be in a pretty bad position. Potentially, he's going to have to shave off a lot more speed. He's going to have to own that track position coming in. A little bit of slip. There's a fair bit of debris on the track on the outside of that curb. Leading the way for the Mercedes. He's a good couple of seconds behind. Spray and Prey is currently in third position. Really currently two seconds away from Corby. Probably making up for missing out in race one. and Philly side by side coming down into the final turn. DK a little bit quicker. Yeah, I think that might have been a drive through. Actually, he may have actually been getting repaired. He's now coming back out on track. I'm oh, sorry, I think that's someone else's car. That might be Steph's car. Yeah, I think the D train is still in the pits. He's come back through again. Not sure what's going on for D-Train. Big Cliff starting to close in on Sami. There's also DK and Philly sitting tight in behind. Seeing some extreme. 
Dream Racing already, and it's only lap three. There's 20 laps to go. Already giving it their all. They're going to be well fatigued come the end of 23 laps. It's a very good run on follow into that corner for a bit of a gain on McCliff. Remember that Sierra really pulled away on the straight. Car looking heavily scratched. Okay, dog, and we're battling it out. Okay, dog, having on. Oh, pace coming down through that last sector in the BMW. However, where it pulls away on the straight. The train having some great pace with the BMW tonight. We saw that fantastic battle between him and Gallin in the last few laps of race one. Drop back just a little bit. Okay, Vazmac. Okay, boys team two. Oh no, Philly's just gone off wide. That almost looked like it was gonna turn into a spin, but he got that car back under control. Battle it out. Not before Sami tries to get around Mick Cliff. Also have our race leaders now closing in. Listen to those Sierras scream down the pit straight. Probably takes a much more tighter line. Rooney uses that full length of track. Too wide, that's going to be no little position loss. Catches him on the straight. Then slip. And Rooney spools up on the corner exit. in on his teammate Sami. Sami's dropped away from Mick. Billy's managed to recover a little bit of lost ground after that slip. He's closed in again. Slingshot around through on the roof of the Sierra. You're going to be enough to get around. And he backs off. Nice flame spit by that Sierra. Very slippery by Rooney. Gets back under control. There's not much between the two here. Almost swipes the tail as he slingshots out. Position nicely for the corner. Up over that curve, it's going to cost him some speed. They're going to come back out side by side. Both give a lot of room to each other, especially with these things wanting to fish you out. Will Rooney get him on the next corner? He's in a good position for the inside line, but they both lock up. Drifting through. Colby just drifts it a little bit shorter, gets that nice inside pass. It's 
just going to be getting some little synchronized drifting scenes here. Two are going to be having a lot of fun battling it out. Runs out wide on the second last corner. They're catching up to some traffic as well. Side by side down pitch straight. Rini's going to have to shave a lot more speed off. Both go that very wide line. They're carrying a lot of speed in. He's not giving that position away too easily. He's going to be looking at getting that back very quickly. Oh, big lock up by Rooney, but then Corby's managed to try and get away from that and hit the curb. I don't know if he's just also bogged in and made a little bit of wall contact. Can't see too much on my screen where there's some damage to that front right. Unfortunate. He's avoiding incident and only just to get him caught into one himself. And Sami now closing back in on Mick Cliff again. He's only a hundredth of a second quicker than Mick. Mick really misjudged that corner. He lost a lot of speed. But he's still going to be able to pull away a lot quicker than that Mercedes can. Those that may not know as well, Mick Cliff is joining us from the controller. Does an amazing job with this. Coming into our next series with a wheel stand up for grabs. It'll be a perfect series for Mick to try and get a championship win under his belt. He's been due for one coming for quite some time. away very quietly in third position. Been setting some very consistent laps. Fastest lap of 139.2. Last lap a 140.1. He's keeping consistent. A little bit slower than Mick at the moment. Mick's a couple of seconds away. He's almost half a second quicker than him at this point. in on him over the course of the next few laps. That's my boys team two still following in each other's path. Sami a little bit of oversteer, let's judge that corner. Didn't lose too much speed. Doggy Daddy currently in ninth position. Yellen's still hanging away and closing in that gap on Wera. We just had a very long lap time, a two minute four. So he potentially has been into the pits. So he is contending with some damage. If it was a drive through, he was serving at all. If it was an early pit, he can 
loss out the remaining laps and it could be advantageous as he'll bump up a little bit. We're closing in and he gets around Doggy Daddy. No, not quite. It's up and around on the outside. That's a shame of of speed. Oh, Gallon's just giving it a nudge. Bump Doggy Daddy on the approach in the braking zone. Didn't affect him too much. I think it was a bit of excess speed that he wasn't quite ready for. It's coming in at a good pace. Nick still holding Sami at bay. DK's drop back a little bit as well. Currently two seconds slower than Sami's last lap. Daddy doing well with the car. It's looking worse for wear. Not sure if he's been into the pits. Must have made a little bit of a mistake. DK has just closed in really quickly. A little bit of slip. Approaching the halfway point. Tyres may start to be getting a little bit worn. His teammate Coco Dog starting to close in on his teammate. He did just go a little bit wide in that last corner, cost him a little bit of time. DK still looking to catch up to his teammate. Oh, makes a little bit of a mistake, takes out that braking marker. Could have the on board commentator's curse. We haven't had that happen for a little while. You usually jump on board and things go wrong. Bump and run can be varied. No redress is 60. Minor penalty would potentially be 12 points. Depend on whether there was excessive braking coming into it as well. This brake checking is what they usually call can't be done. It definitely will be reviewed. DK still trying to close in. It's a little bit quicker. A good half a second quicker last time. Seen a few minor mistakes being made that's cost him some time as he's come through sector two. Army having a bit more pace through sector two. BK seeming to be a lot quicker in sectors one and three compared to Sami at the moment. Dog get around. Coco Dog moves up into 11th position. Now race leaders are closing that gap in again. Very outside line. Marini holds him at bay. I think that's just effort they've just gotten around and I've actually been marked. A little bit of slip from Corby. He takes a much tighter line around that corner. Very wide slide. Corby goes for that inside line.
seeming to try and carry a lot of the mid-corner speed by turning in that little bit earlier. And let that tail slide out. Oh, that's a little bit too wide for Rooney. It's going to cost him position. He's probably going to use that opportunity of being a little bit slower to head into the pits. So it's not going to really cost him in time for the mistake. Colby moves into the race lead. Spray and Prey will now move up into position two. As Rooney's in the pits. I'm going to try and get Rooney so he's for away. He is. He's done. Probably making a little bit of a mistake. Possibly see a fair few drivers start peeling off into the pits as we reach the halfway mark. Mix quickly caught up to spray and break. They got slowed up with a bit of traffic. Sure whose car that is, that's not D-Train, it must be Steph's car. The car's not looking well. That would have been from the lap one incident. And we saw her and Mark stuck up against the wall around turn two, I think it was. Um, he's still trying to chase down that Sierra. Four seconds behind Mick. He has been held up. Ooh, a little bit of a bump to Steph as well. Steph slowed up a fair bit on the racing line. Caught Sami off guard a little bit. Gets around set point quickly. Slowed in the close in on his teammate. Nice line by the two. Oh, Sami's just made an error. He's oversteered. He's gone back across the track and he making heavy contact into that wall. I think that's a metal wall. That's going to be a fair bit of damage to his car. Here comes Philly. Philly then takes his position as well. And that is Rooney. That's coming up behind. Sami's going to be having a very damaged car. Sami will probably head into the pits this lap for sure. He's going to have to get that damage tended to. He's going to be losing out a lot of speed with a big hit to the front like that. I'm surprised the bonnet isn't as buckled as if, as we've seen. I've seen them take quite a good hit. Rooney a little bit cold on those tyres. But being one of the front running cars that's already been for the mandatory pit. Rooney will cover a lot more ground once everyone heads in for their mandatory pit stop. Looks like it's a little bit slippery out on the track for Corby. Very broad. Yes, he's very slippery. He's probably going to bring that in. That car's definitely got to be very worn for rubber now. Three laps past the sprint race. And then the way these Sierras slide around the track. The tires are going to be well and truly scrubbed. Bray should probably do the same as well. He's looking a little bit slippery, not as much as what Corby's showing. The 
doesn't throw that car through the corners as hard as what we've seen Rooney and Corby doing. These tyres will last out a little bit longer. It's still doing very well currently in third position. T-Rex has been in and pitted. Bobby decides to stay out on track. Fuel loads will be lightning as they're going along. Be playing very cautious with the car at the moment. That's the section where we saw Sami go for the spin. I think he opted to stay out on track still. He's got a fairly buckled bonnet. It's not as bad. A bit of spacing going on with our drivers now as different cars have been in and pit. Ready looking to cover as much ground as he can. He doesn't need to play too aggressive to get around. Especially when the Sarah has that little bit of a speed advantage on the Mercedes. These guys will need to pit. That's around Philly nice and easily. carried a lot more speed down through those last two corners. He was really able to hold on and close that pace in Rooney's car. Both the cars having very different advantages to different sections of the track. Ready moves up into third position. DK's been in and served his pit. A very quick stop. Not sure if Mick's been in and pit yet. DK pulls back out ahead of Mick Cliff. Colby still putting down some very quick lap times. His last lap was a 138.6. He's in a bit. He's taking that rather slow. We'll need to pull that up in time just before the cones. Down to 60. A little bit earlier. Making sure he doesn't cop a 10 second penalty for speeding on approaching the pit lane. He's behind Spray, but they're getting a little bit loose. We're going to start with Daddy. So Spray now takes the lead. You can see Corby just pulling up now. You can see Spray out leading in the front. He's getting around some back markers. He can get around as many of these as he can very quickly and cleanly. This could be an advantage as Corby will be back out on track and potentially be stuck behind them at the slower parts of the track. That way Spray will be able to head into the pits, potentially get out fairly close to his teammate Corby.
still be pretty close to Rooney. Could be a very good finish for Hitch or Marks. With Spray and Corby. Looking at potentially taking podium spots. Rooney's now two seconds behind Corby. Both have pit. As McBoy's team one, going to battle out their teammates here for position six. Billy did pit last lap. His last lap was a 203. Needs some traffic to come up to looks like Steph's car. Perfect timing to get around on the nice fast corner with plenty of space to do so. Quickly closing in on Corby again. These two are going to probably battle it out for a little while. Lap 19 of 23. Heading towards the home end of the race. Oh, almost a nudge. For any positions along that back panel. They get around Marky Mark. They're coming up to Doggy Daddy. They're going to try and get around as well. up to the lapping cars to ensure they get around cleanly and safely. Oh, he moves well out of the way for them. Right, it's super tight. Doggy peels off into the pits. That's simply what I wanted. We'll do. That's a very nice pass. Flight mistake made by Corby. A bit of speed coming down pit straight. Yeah, so they go COVID racing. There is Gallant. He's recovered pretty nicely. He was caught up in the lap one incident, I think. out looks like Colby had a little bit of slip. We've seen him slip on that corner a couple of times. He had a pretty quick pit stop so it's quite possible he may not have actually changed tyres. Spray is leading the race by 6.3 seconds currently. He does need to head into the pits. It's T-Rex just ahead of him. Oh no, T-Rex goes off into the inside. It's for spray out a little bit wide while he's trying to avoid potential incident. You can see Rooney just coming down on the pit straight now, closing in quickly. Just made mistake as well. There was a lot of oversteer coming out of the corner. Aaron Billy still battling out fifth position. D train closing in on T Rex. He now has Rooney. And Corby needing to get around him as well. A bit of a lock for D train. Could be 
helpful for Spray to put a little bit more gap over Rooney and Corby. They get held up in traffic. D Train still is very good driver and has a very big pace. It's not going to be as easy to get around. But he does just back off there and allow Rooney around. Next just dropped off a couple of positions. Always gets it under control. Donnie closing in on Gallon. Very wide line. Gallon pulls away a lot quicker. Bit of tail drift. Coming down to the corner. Oh no, he's just dropped the tyre off. It's just dived him across. That could have gone badly. He managed to get the car under control. He's going to lose a little bit of ground to Sami. Looking to try and catch up to the Vazmac boys. He's going to have a huge advantage coming down pitch straight. Double slipstream. Lead off, run onto the opposite side of the track. Brings now cat caught up to spray. Spray's peeling off into the pits now. So he needs to do it this lap. Otherwise it'll be a disqualification. Oh no, Rooney's just made a crucial mistake. This car's going every which way. I think it was T-Rex as well. They avoid incident. That was very lucky. Probably takes back the race lead. Rooney moves back into position two. DK is a little way from you can see him coming down pitch straight. That's Mark Mark that just got a little bit slippery on the inside. Spray will be racing DK up along pitch straight. I don't think he's going to be out in time. That means DK is going to move up into position three. That's a very long pit lane. Let's move back into fourth position. It was a very quick pit though. He's only got this lap to get past Rooney. Oh, big rod slide again. Is he going to get under control? It's just made D train get a little bit cautious and go wide to get around him. That was very close. Takes out that brake marker. Corby's struggling with the car at the moment. It's going to help Rooney be able to pull away. I'd be surprised if Corby's been running the same tyres the whole length of the race. It just seems that little bit slippery at the moment. Rooney pulling away much quicker. We're on the final approach now. Not enough gap in between the two to be able to get around at the finish line. Victory for Rooney. Corby takes position two. BK doing it for the Mercedes in position three. Prey was only a few seconds off from taking a podium. Flash of the lights, well done, DK. Prey crosses the line in fourth, still a fantastic finish. I have a make up on approach to finish up here this last lap now. Great drive for Mick. Some fun with the 
car across the line. Well done in fifth position. Oh, we've just had a turnaround. I think that's Sami, Billy, and Wera take sixth and seventh. Sami spun on the final corner. Is it enough for a gallon to be able to get around? No, there's been another spin. I think it's Gallon. And I think that was Coco Dog that just went past, or perhaps Doggy Daddy. Dummy in eighth. Gallon in ninth. Okay, Dog and D Train battling it out on the final straight. Battle for the beam is down the straight. Almost photo finish before the two. Well done, and I think there was a time penalty for one of those so that may potentially have affected that. Let's have a look. If I can bring that up and scroll down, so is it Coco Dog and D Train? So there was three seconds to the Coco Dog, but no, it was fine. So there we have conclusion of for race two in round four. We have Rooney nine nine one five taking two wins at Red Bull Ring GP. And also on the podium is Corby387 and DK Russia. Well done to our podium finishers. Then the rest of the good we have Spray and Prey, Mick Cliff, Philly, Wira, Sami, Gallon, Coco, D Train, T Rex, Doggy Daddy, Marky Mark, and Steph. So well done to all drivers. So we'll be inviting in our drivers for a quick chat. So we'll invite Rooney, Corby, and DK Rush to have a chat. So bear with me as I send off those invites. We'll have Rooney, Corby and DK. should see and pop up in a moment as they join the session. Here we have DK. Congratulations on podium finish, DK. Yeah, thanks mate. It's a tough race. It was. It was some great action. Yeah. Red Bull ring there tonight. I'm, one more lap and I reckon Spray would have uh, come back at me and had me. Yeah, he was definitely. Catching me quick after very close. Stuff. He was racing you down, down pit lane. Yeah, trying to get I didn't, out. <laughs> didn't even realise he hadn't pitted. Yeah. But yeah, that was a um, great finish. And we got Corby and Rooney in here as well. Yeah, congrats, Rooney. Cheers. Oh, yeah, congrats. On wasn't, the a, wasn't a clean one, but <laughs> got there in the end. Yeah. yeah, turn one, there was chaos everywhere going on. Um, that yeah. first lap was quite interesting. We'd see, yeah, I um, just tried to stay as tight as I could on the inside and hope that I didn't get rear-ended, which I didn't, so... I, I, I saw all the chaos in my mirror, but... <laughs> yeah. It was good to have um, steered clear of that, so congrats, Corby. Making up for the disconnect in race one. He's not in here yet, I think. Uh, he's not in here yet. Uh, he hasn't joined. <clears throat> That's alright. Yeah, well, um, congratulations on the finish, guys, and we'll look forward to... Seeing some good action for the final round. Absolutely, there thanks we... again. And congratulations yeah. again, Rooney, on the win. Cheers, thank you. And then we've got um, Algarve, so it's going to be very similar tight technical track as we had um, tonight, so it'll be good to see what you guys can do for us. Absolutely, thanks again, JT, appreciate it. Yep. All right. Thank you. All right. Then we have the conclusion for round four. That was Rooney and DK. So Rooney taking a double victory and potentially a fastest lap again. Yes, so a 136.489 that he did get. So well done to Rooney. That's going to be a good lead on the championship. So we have next week for the final round. So it's just a little big race. So we don't have our two races. It's worth the big points. So it's 240 points available for a win. So we could see our bit of change at the front with Corby and Rooney with some big points up for grabs. And we are Autodrama International du Algave. So do hit that follow button if you haven't done so. So that you can be notified when we go live 
we will be also doing the spec race of Fords on Monday night, so there's plenty of action to see. And of course, don't forget our YouTube channel has all our past broadcasts. You can check that out. And our Facebook page will have all our results, standings, and of course, the incident report once we review lap one of um, race two. There was a lot of carnage going on. It'll be quite interesting just to see what happens. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you trackside next week.